Emily Bronte's novel Wuthering Heights is marked by a number of central themes. Good versus evil, judgment versus pity, violence and revenge, love and obsession, and belonging. Both religious and personality-based notions of good and evil underscore Wuthering Heights. Characters' senses of pity, humility, love, and forgiveness speak to good. Judgment, pride, obsession, and violence see them do evil. Mrs. Dean's character speaks to the good qualities in people. Heathcliff and Kathy represent the evil choices of violence, revenge, pride, selfishness, judgment, and obsession. Joseph's character is right in the middle, representing religious hypocrisy, as he believes he's good, but having no qualities of love or good, more realistically, serves evil. Good characters like Catherine, Isabella, Hareton, Edgar, and Mrs. Dean battle Heathcliff's evil. And Heathcliff's ultimate choice between good and evil leads to his death, condemning him to spiritually wander the moors with Kathy, who also rejected heaven and religion when she was alive. Characters' actions in the novel are always accompanied by a choice between judgment and pity. Now, it's important to note that in Wuthering Heights, pity is not used in the modern sense. It's more like having sympathy for or empathy with than feeling sorry for someone. Often characters must choose between pity and judgment, and pity is typically shown to be a virtue, but a lack of pity leads to pain, injustice, and suffering for the person judged. To judge others is harmful to them, unjust, and not a right reserved for human beings, but in a biblical sense, is divine. Often, the reader is provoked to feel pity over judgment for the characters. Across generations, judgment begets more judgment, and abuses beget more abuse. Wuthering Heights presents a complex argument about the effects of physical violence. Environmentally and character to character, abuse creates abusive, vengeful individuals when they do not forgive and turn violent to lessen their pain. Violence always imperils those who choose it. Heathcliff and Hindley's relationship spotlights violence and revenge, forming seemingly unbreakable circuits. Hareton and Linton's relationship demonstrates how neglect and apathy can be violent. Heathcliff and Kathy's passionate relationship shows that going against one's heart and soul is equivalent to death. Both choose obsession, human love over godly love, and this obsession turns love evil and idolatrous. Delusional false love manifests itself in violence and hatred. Catherine and Hareton represent love's power to overcome pride and evil, laden with the idea that love moderately leads to happiness. Between Wuthering Heights and Thrush Cross Grange, a sense of belonging is central to the novel. Human beings must align with their true destinies and innately know where they belong. Visions, presentments, and dreams guide them on the way. There's devastating isolation individuals feel while searching and seeking for belonging somewhere the characters can feel a sense of peace and unity. <laughs>